All right, hey there, all of you friends of the Overtime Garage movement. We got a project in the works right now just to prove how much I value safety. We've been driving Rust Delicious here for about a year and we're getting around to installing some seat belts. I'm pretty excited about getting these in place. We'll feel a little more comfortable as we drive in the event of an accident. But uh, I've got these uh, all, I would say, mocked up, ready to uh, bolt in. So I wanted to show you what I was starting with here. We have these uh, retractable belts so um, pull these out and they go back to where they came from so you don't have those uh, lap belts kind of strewn across the seat and we're using these uh, GM style push button uh, belts and I'll uh, tie into where I got those um, they're not cheap. I think they were like 60 bucks each set. So I got three sets in here. And uh, yeah, so in order to do this, I'll, uh, I'll kind of pull one apart so you can see what I started with. And then uh, how I got those bolted down to the floor securely. So. So before I take one out, I'll kind of show you what it looks like. I'm uh, climbing on the seat and looking back here. So there is one of the brackets I made to come up and hook up with that retractable portion. And then this one's kind of a funky one because I bolted a, uh, you know the the push button connector down there kind of in the middle and then up top here's a retractable one so in this spot i got one of each and they kind of had to be in those two spots and then bolted to the floor but over here i just had the two push buttons so they're both connected up on the one that's what that bracket looks like and then this is the driver's side kind of a copy of the passenger side so yeah I think that's like 3 uh steel material that uh, should be sufficient for all of our crash needs <laughs> so and then I'll show you from under here kind of what it looks like Let's see, get a good shot here. Um, yeah, that one's kind of hard to see. But uh, here, you can see that one dropping down through the seat and then bolting up. And over here, there's those two bolting up. And then past that mess of wire, temporary wire see the driver's side one but that's what underneath looks like on my truck now uh let me show you from underneath kind of what we're looking at oh. all right so there's a bot or a, yeah body mount and next to it i drilled a hole through that one by two tubing, steel tubing. Um, and I had put that one by two across the whole back side of the, um, there it is there, whole back side of the cab along the floor. So that turned out to be a good location to bolt into for these belts. Okay. So, um, let me get a better position here. Okay. 
Okay, so there's the uh, passenger side toward the middle. And over here, oh, there's the driver's side toward the middle. It's kind of too close to see, but yeah, and then there's the rest of it. So just came right down through that one by two steel structural member, and that's a good spot to bolt those seat belts in. All right, so I pulled all these out now and you can see what I was starting with. Um, that's the length of the retractable piece. And you may or may not be able to get longer versions of this. I think this was as long as I could get. Um, there's the other side and then here's the retractable. Here's the other side. This driver's side. You can see these two outer brackets were pretty much the same. I got those to work just with 190 bend and a couple of holes. And then in here I wrapped this up kind of around that vertical piece in the cab and up close enough to catch this and have those extend out onto the seat just the right amount. And the same here. So this actually looks like this that pointing forward so there's the thickness of material like I said about 3 16 and then uh, the only other thing to do here is paint those up I was going to paint them black get the rest of the hardware washers and lock washers and then put them in. But I just used a template piece of cardboard to kind of give me an idea how I wanted to do that. I cut it to match this material that I had laying around. So there you have it, another fun time in the overtime garage here so let's get you a shot when they're all installed complete uh, oh let me show you one other thing these uh, I may end up using these they're like a plastic stiffener for these I'll trim them back maybe just to give it a little um, a way for those to keep from falling out into the below the seat unless I can figure some way to kind of hang on to them up on the seat you know with a retainer piece of a um, string or whatever I don't know if I want to stab into that seat so that's why these might be good for holding those up at the uh, hole in the seat go okay now we're gonna spray them up just use some rust-o-lam acrylic enamel and it is almost 4th of July so got the bombs going off yeah I'm just using a little sawhorse to hang these with some baling wire and that should get me a couple coats pretty quick and quick and easy Okay, let me show you the final product. And now I can claim safety as a priority for myself. And, but seriously, when I have my kids with me, it's nice to be able to buckle them up. Here's how they're sitting, kind of like you saw earlier. solid. I'll lift this up and point down in here at the bracket. It's now all painted up. There's how the retractable one's got a big uh, part of it kind of sticking up so you gotta account for that when you're 
putting them in it's kind of up and in the way potentially so um, like I said earlier I got the actually the shortest ones and on the um, bigger ones I'm not sure if the retractable side is any different if they make that longer but that would actually be nice if it was in my case since my bench is so high up off the floor I uh, raised mine by a couple inches otherwise this is a stock height of the early 90s full-size Chevy truck seat that I used and then um, the other thing I wanted to point out is I didn't want these falling down because it was just a fabric strap. So I ended up using that black plastic stiffener that came with them, but I trimmed it back a lot. So it was, you know, they normally they come up and actually go over this clip a little bit, but I trimmed it back so these both could pop out of there. And then the other end is down touching almost where they're bolted up to the bracket and I did the same thing on this guy and then uh, that's kind of secured on the other end just by the way it pushes down in there so yeah those don't fall down into the open hole in the seat but yeah so mission accomplished thanks for checking it out